Hi everyone, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough here today of Allen Studio. Let's get started. So I'm gonna to go to studio.allen.app and once I've created an account, I'm gonna log in. And once I log in here, I'll see my list of projects and each one of these you could consider as its own voice assistant and they have their own analytics. So session time, interactions, number of users and so forth. Let me create a new project here called food ordering. All right, and that takes me to an empty project, and it's time to add some voice scripts that will control the voice experience for the user. So Allen Studio comes with several voice scripts that are built in uh, and just ready for use. So all of this is created in JavaScript because of the flexibility, and I'm gonna add here the food ordering script. Now keep in mind, we have the source code for this food ordering application as well that goes along with the script in GitHub, and uh, the script is right here now in Studio if you want to follow along and, and create an account and log in. Okay, so here's the script. Let's try it out. Add two pepperoni pizzas. Added two pepperoni pizzas to your order. All right, let's take a look at this. All voice scripts in Allen are created using JavaScript. And here you can see the intent, add, I want, order, get, and number, item, items, intent. So the user can say this to add an item to their order. And there you can see the pipes in the code. And what that is is just or statements. So the user has the option of saying add two pepperoni pizzas or I want a soda or anything like that and it will work. The variable there, item, items intent, that is coming from up here on line 10. And so you can see there are anything from drinks, pizzas, street food, and dessert categories they can choose from to add to their order. And you see back in the debugging chat here, the command in the response with the line numbers as well as the visual instructions that will be sent to the application so that it properly adds the two pepperoni pizzas and shows that to the user. We'll discuss that more uh, and how this is handled on the client in a minute. Let's say we want to make a change here to the script and adjust an intent. Let's go to line 89. What is this application? It's an example food app for delivery service. Okay, the response there isn't very user friendly. So we're going to make some adjustments to this. Okay, so this is a food ordering application. Choose from pizzas, street food, drinks, and desserts. What is this application? This is an example food ordering app for ordering pizza, street food, drinks, and desserts. Okay, great. That worked. Any of these intents and responses, you can just change really quickly and test right in Allen Studio. So a few useful features here that you should know about. At the top of the screen is versioning. And let's just say the script is ready for users. I can save as v1 and select production environment then add v1 there so now v1 is a locked version and i can continue development using the last version there are three different environments you can use development for creating your scripts testing for qa and then production for your users in live applications then at the bottom of the screen are the logs that show you all the user interactions with Allen. So there you can see the commands and responses they use, as well as unrecognized commands. What's the price of Bitcoin? I don't know the answer to this question. There in the logs, you can see this in red and decide whether or not you want to support it for your users. So for adding Allen to your application, click on the embed button at the top of the screen and you'll see the options for integrations into your app using any one of the SDKs. Documentation is there as well if you want to reference that. The voice script we just created for food ordering is for an iOS application. And here we have the SDK key for our project that's running on production. As you recall, V1 is running there, so it's ready. And I'm gonna go through this process now and then show you how it looks in Xcode. Here's my Xcode project with the app. And you can see I've added a file already with the Allen SDK framework. And what I'm gonna do now is just add some microphone permissions here for the voice button.
Then here's the Swift that controls the, the uh, actual button itself with the SDK key that we had from our project here. And below are some handlers that will control the visuals. So when a command's given to add a pizza or open the pizza menu or something like that, we'll open the appropriate screen for the user. Okay, now let's show you the live application. Welcome to the food ordering demo app for food delivery. How can I help you? What pizzas do you have? We have a few pizzas available. Pepperoni, margarita, cheese, and Hawaiian. Which pizzas would you like? Order two margarita pizzas and two sodas. Added two margarita pizzas and two sodas to your order. Also order apple pie. Added one apple pie to your order. Check out. The total amount for your order is $29. What is delivery address? 205 Tasman Drive. Okay, your order will be delivered to 205 Tasman Drive. Do you want to confirm your order? Yes. Great, your order has been confirmed and will be delivered to 205 Tasman Drive on October 17th at 7.19 p.m. All right, there you have it. A quick overview of the Allen platform and how to get a voice experience up and running in an application. So you can replicate this example using the links provided and get started with Allen Studio at studio.allen.app. Thank you.